So we're at the upper level now, the, the top level of track. And I've added this backing and a top with that thin polystyrene just into that section there because I've decided that this piece of track will be visible. I've carried on building this level. I did have um, a wooden kind of, and this was this was filled in. I had one there and one there in the same way as I'm just kind of beginning with an idea there. But when I stood back and looked at it, it was just too square. So although I said I would make the tunnels man-made, <clears throat> the whole piece flows better if they stay with a good curvature like that. There are no straight lines on this model apart from these portions of track. Um, there are no straight lines. So <clears throat> I won't be doing a tunnel there because from the viewing angle, by the time I get the scenery around it, that's just coming round the mountain. <laughs> and uh, this, I'm going to just bring that nice and curved to match this and that one there. Also started work on the water feature here. This is where the the water comes through. These are some rocks and then it goes through there down into another section. That's just holding it all up at the moment. So this is where the waterfall will come out. This that's going to go in there that holds the river what I've done is I've put it, slid it into place just so it's quite a tight fit to hold it marked out the lines for the river then I'm going to take it over there and plaster uh, one layer of plaster on that to get it all together and I may continue to do more work on that while it's off of the model and then bring it over fit it and just fill it in right, when it's I need done. To get inside here to finish the inside of this tunnel because that's visible. Also this one it's too square at the top it needs to be rounded off. Something else I've noticed is that I wonder if we can get the camera in there through need to get there. inside there and plaster that. That's the next thing to do. So for this section here the next tunnel mouth will be here and then up on the top section the tunnel mouth will be here so that will be built over to this level here is where the waterfall is going to come down that will feed this running stream small rapid which will then now I've been experimenting here. with different ways to build this next section up. I've had uh, tin foil and uh, pillow newspaper for plaster cloth but I have another sheet of this, a big sheet. It's going to be, it's about four foot by two foot. So but the idea now is to build this up in layers as I did with some of the other so that's where the the first layer begins there. So I need to build some layers until I get up to here and then I can start to bring it up and around leaving this area open. So we'll see how that goes. Okay so there's the start of the basic shape that I'll be using for that comes out so it's going to come over in the same way that these do that will come over the there track will probably be some support on this side to keep the whole thing sturdy and that will allow the the view of the inside this is not fixed I've just coated that in PVA. So yeah, two of these. And then I'm going to finish 
the water in there and I'm going to start to add the waterfalls now I've got one waterfall coming out of here which is going to be visible from the outside of the layout and the other one is going to come down here where are we down here and that will be visible from the inside of the layout it's quite a challenging idea to do a, a kind of a, a waterfall I, I should probably do a curve which is why I've put this kind of clover shape in here so it can come there and there and then spill over in the middle it is challenging and the original idea was to have the waterfall inside that was part of that but then I thought well if I'm going to do a waterfall there and it's inside then let's do one outside as well I started the the river that's going to come down slightly sloping this side You've got the shape going on which is unif kind of not uniform but continues this general kind of water eroded landscape of this hillside or whatever it is and then this is more rocky carved some rocks into that side I'll probably do something on top there some some soil some plant life I put this light brown line around there just to represent where I would like ground cover to go so that's really just my mark to follow to see how things will go and the same thing up here with the darker brown down the bottom here I've brought the railway into the stonework the idea is that this is going to be kind of buried in dust as I think it would be and that kind of follows on all the way if we look inside can I get in there without no well yeah so when we go at least for the lower sections there there I'm not sure really out here we're gonna have some water maybe that would be cleaner maybe I can put some vines hanging down I don't want to cover this too much because I let me just turn this around show you what's going on with the stone now I've paid particular attention to the texture of the stone here all across this front bit around to here and then in this section here and obviously down into that tunnel there's an area there and there's an area there because this is going to be a hillside with lots of scenery lots of earth lots of soil lots of plants I need to make sure I've got room to do that so for example these ledges this area here even some plant life coming over here and also when this area goes in as it comes up that's going to be the place for probably a big feature tree you know a really nice big I'm not sure maybe something that size don't know yet you know something substantial that looks good um, so yeah this here I want to keep this stone on show there's the water there's the stone lights going up I'll, by the way I brought this you can see I put my fingers under there I brought this down as I said I would so I can fit the lights behind there uh, in here quite a lot of attention to the to the stone the texture and the paintwork there will be plant life here and then coming up around here and then this will all be softened all of this edge will be softened with greenery 
the same thing around this side it will be softened because it's in the TV set I'll be building pieces panels that go in that fit into the TV set on either side covered in greenery and plants and things that will clamp on allowing the trains to go through but kind of softening this edge the whole thing's finished with a mix of Mod Podge mat in order to make sure that the stone is not reflective so it's not been done with a PVA at the end it's all sealed in the thing is because this is plaster and it's not plaster rock moulds it's, it, it's actually made out of plaster a couple of coats of paint is not good enough it will chip it will peel away so I've added the washes, the highlights, the low lights, the PVA, and then more washes and more highlights and low lights, and then the Mod Podge on top. So it's nice and strong, it's quite thick. And it also allows for more detail, more, more tone and more depth and warmth in there. It's not that warm, I didn't want it too warm, but I just took it away from basic grey. I'm going to mark out the interior and uh, take that, put that, transfer that onto some hardboard where I shall make the scene separately away from this and then I can insert that in there. Another scene that's going in the back, the mirror would be going there and if I put my hand in there will be another scene going on there. So I want to get cracking on those sections. It's a man-made well to hold the water. So I've got lots more ideas for this now. So there we go. The short run around at the beginning of the video was when I just got the plaster work finished. As you can see, it's been painted up since then. So now what I need to do is finish this section here all the way up to the top, and that will finish the structure with the tunnel mouths and everything in place. Um, I picked up this gold spray. Look, apparently this is the best gold effect on the market. So that will be for all the tiny pieces of gold that will be infused into the landscape. Uh, maybe some, you know, gold in amongst piles of rocks here, things like that. Plenty of gold inside and also the gold in the, uh, in the wagon, in the truck. This down here, this monstrosity, is the beginnings of a locomotive shell. More on that another time. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't ramble on too much. What a beautiful mess. <laughs> it's lovely. Um, if you like the video, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget that one. It helps the channel and it helps the videos get out to more people. Uh, if you just came and you'd like to subscribe for more updates then please do feel free okay so for now I'll leave you and uh, until next time all the best and take care